I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. sure about that. <clears throat> I guess I might as well unpack. Oh, I could have stopped it here. Great job. Anyways, welcome back to more Life is Strange. And I swear to God, if I screw this up, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, we doing this. <clears throat> we doing this. Okay, high score, 60,000? Eh, we beat that. We beat that. Okay, up, down, left, right, jump, climb, thing, thing, and more thing. Okay, so thing. Cool. What is? Alright. Let's see, okay. Now we can move. Jump. Alright, avoid the ghost, I assume. So I'm swinging. We have to get every. Okay! Goodbye. Nice knowing you, buddy. Okay, there's more than one. There is more than one. There's more than one. There's more than one. No, go down the stupid ladder. And we did. Damn, we did. No! Shut up. Here we go, one more, one more. And bada boom, baby boy. It's kind of fun. I swear I played a game like this before. Okay, so you cannot jump up the ladders. That's something to keep in mind. Um, best take this thing because it's faster. I'm not sure what the light does. I'm assuming it's the counter. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's what kills the ghost. Nice. <clears throat> Keep that in mind. So we're at 10k. What was the highest score? 60, I think it was? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. We're gonna die, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no! Shut up. No, I do I do I? Okay, so now I know fall damage does exist. Okay, so they have to be looking at you? Okay. Have to keep that in mind. <clears throat> and we out of here. Kinda wish the light would cross over to the next level, if I'm being honest with you. It'd be nice. Or at least some type of advantage. But we ain't gonna complain that often. Oh. Oh. Up. Oh shit. 16,000. I accept it. It ain't, it ain't the high score. But we get. That was actually kind of fun, not gonna lie. Any more in here? Over here? Gabe looks like he fits right in. Okay. Board game. Oh, what man. Is? Gabe used to oopsies. crush me. Jerk. Should call it oopsies, really? Metals. Right. Sword. Is that a sword? No, it's a 
pencil. Video game. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. <clears throat> Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Oh, lolly. Anyways, book. Photo magnet. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Oh, God. Sculpture. I'm good. The letter. What at? So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Alex, do I want to know? Probably not. We're looking anyways. Because we Snoopy. Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Ah. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Open. <laughs> what do we got over here? Oh, that's our bag. Wow. Okay. Oh, God. Shoe Shoe's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was... Hoping we were done with that. I mean, let's be honest here. Usually, when you get back home, or Ethan's really talented. Packed. Usually, you don't pack, unpack for the following day because you don't feel like it. Oh, that's Ethan's book. Oh, the Tornado Monster Stronghold okay, collapsed. Oh, so it's like a night story. Okay. Corpse. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> also, we have to unpack the letters. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope at least she cared. More than I really wish those Mets had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing we can leave now, because then we did pretty much everything. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. I'm good. But yeah, I think we should be able to... Photo. <clears throat> I thought we had everything by now. Crazy how much we've changed.
no way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. <clears throat> Interesting. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. We've seen things, haven't we, Shu Shu? <clears throat> and one with back. Join them. My journal. Time to add journal. my latest meltdown. Ooh. Who reads these? Booms. <clears throat> Ugh. I'll finish this later. Do I? What is? Oh. No fucking way. <clears throat> Damn, we can play it and not be copyrighted. I just hear it. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? And it's free from copyright. <clears throat> Get past this, past this. No, damn. <clears throat> but yeah, in case anybody watching, I can't hear this myself. I have it turned off for copywritten reasons. Not that copyright matters too much right now, but just because. Why is it, like, in the situation, all I get is, like, Last of Us in my head? Is it just me? I guess anybody who watches The Last of Us or The Last of Us series understands.
You and your damn surprises, Gabe. I mean, yeah, I could have talked over the music, but I used to do this. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. Back under the bed. Yep, back under the bed. I think I, I should, should go good downstairs place, and set things right with Gabe. The crack. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Let's go. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. Uh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine, I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing, now you just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Nice. <laughs> Give us the job. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So... What's it doing today? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can't imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. <laughs> he obviously thinks you're really cool. But does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? I'd say you have a shot. Gabe plays dirty, though. Like, he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry, couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So this is pretty much living in a town. Like, we kind of know each other. Like, I don't want to say family, but it's more like a... I guess you can say small neighborhood with stores, I guess you could say. No. It just sounds nice. As I asked last video, where would you want to live? Like your dream area, dream house. So I'm short staffed Seriously. at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. Uh huh. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. <laughs> Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. 
you can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Okay, so a hostess, basically. <clears throat> it's really nice okay. to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Am I getting that right, hostess? Am I getting that right? I guess I'm a server now. <laughs> server, Let's hostess, see how this goes. I guess it's kind of the same thing, I guess we could say. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. No problem. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling Let's go me. Go upstairs and get that stuff first before we get sidetracked with things. I will forget about. I can't just go upstairs. Nuisance. <laughs> ah well. No issue. Yeah, I may just toss up two today, maybe three, depending how I feel. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll do three. I don't want it to be too much. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Door. Board game. Fridge, most likely. I'd assume the fridge. Or the cabinet, that too. Ooh. Now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Okay, crazy question. Those of you who like ramen, what is your favorite ramen and which one do you go with? Usually for me, I go with the chicken one. The chicken for me. Sometimes I go with the beef, because beef isn't too bad. Not great, but acceptable when you want something different. Uh, liqueur. <clears throat> mm. 
That's gotta nope. be it. No. Nothing. Really? That wasn't it, my gay? Go to ho ho. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Damn. Uh, let's see. Oh, couch, maybe? That would make sense. Watch if I had a dollar or something like that. Watch. Ha! Never mind. I literally thought it was going to be a dollar or a quarter or something like that. <laughs> Found this upstairs in Gabe's couch. Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. later this week oh, shit hey. now max scared at least he's not freaking out anymore he won't make me lose control so when someone goes mad crazy wild choosing violence oh more games No, no, nope, I can do it. Wow, I messed Mac up pretty good. Wow, I messed Mac up pretty good. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Oh, Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Yeah, I'm down. Awards, uh, bottles, 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 there we go. <laughs> oh, that was. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? No. What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> Bruh, she look at your face. So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Out on the stairs. Don't even. What were you thinking? Hit a tree. Where's Gabe? Fridge smack in the face. Why do you give a shit? Go out of bed. 
because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear, this is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. Tell her the fucking truth, man. Yes. If she it's gets not it my down. fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you. About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Do what? Okay. Um not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh god. Were you there too? No. Okay, Mac. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Yes, he did. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Now see? Wait, are you if are you we told okay? The truth, are you fine. fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> okay. I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Okay. Don't care. Uh, let's see. Glad you can fill in today. Avoid... It's getting better for sure. Damn. I did not want to do this. <clears throat> Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? No, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. 
It's like a tabletop role-playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Yeah, why not? Sure, I'd why try not? it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? All right. Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Yeah. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Okay then. Cut it here, but I figured why not? Spain just real fast. <laughs> that looks too nice. I'm gonna screenshot that at some point. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Something happened to Ethan? Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah. Hell yeah. I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the mat and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before.
Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days of that. I didn't think I'd make it out. Prison for minors. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Let's not go on the power thing again. Growing up in the system was hell. In my first foster home, an older boy followed me into the bathroom. So I pushed him out. He got angry. So did I. Then I broke his nose. I was 14. In the second home, one of the other kids committed suicide. And I couldn't eat for a month. After a couple of weeks in the fifth home, I got so depressed that my new parents sent me to a hospital. I never saw him again. The hurt follows me everywhere. It's the other kids get adopted, leave the system, mm -hmm. not me. <clears throat> they never picked me. I'm broken. Do you really believe that? Wouldn't you? After all this time, it's hard not to take it personally. And it just keeps happening. It never stops. And I look at you. You've got a home, a job, a girlfriend. Got it all figured out. And I don't. Is that for me? It is now. What is this? A reminder. Looks like a match to me. That was the last matchbook I got when I was still in juvie. Did some pretty unsavory stuff to score it. And you still have it? Yeah. I carry it with me everywhere. When I got out, I went through the last few matches real quick, obviously, but I, I could never bring myself to use the last one. It reminded me how bad life got and how much better I was gonna make it. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. When I found Haven and Charlotte, I couldn't believe they were real. Everything before was such hell. Now it's different. You can do the same. Start a new life. 
You made it out of the system, Alex. You survived. It's time to move on. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. I came to Haven, after all. Yeah. Exactly. That's the first step. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. I'm here to help you. That's not going to change. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move now. Okay, let's go. Okay, then. That will be next episode. Looking for Ethan. Anyways, guys, that's episode two of Life is Strange. A lot's kind of happened. Found a possible job? Or at least a start of one? Uh, as a, a server hostess. I think hostess would be the term, right? No, hostess is the... Well, whatever, I mean. I don't care too much. But yeah, we have a job um, working at, at the bar slash restaurant. Um, let's see. We have to go after Ethan in the, in the mountains. Probably should have told Gabe about that, but I figured, well, is he really going to go up there? I didn't think he would, so I kind of let it be as it was. Um, but yeah, next episode we'll make sure and see if he's alive, if we even find him. This might have been a bit of a shorter episode. Mac is an absolute dumbass. Should have told the truth, and he would have saved his entire relationship and advice to everybody in a relationship always tell the truth um which that should, should go self-explanatory why you would do that anyways i'll see you all next time